this the Kingdom Hall? Yes, Kingdom Hall. Um, I just have a quick Bible question I was wondering someone could help me with. A Bible question? <laughs> Boy, I don't know. Do you have time? Yeah, uh, if I can answer it. Well, you're a qualified minister, right? Yeah, but we don't have the time right now. We have got to meet for field service. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll... But what's maybe. the Bible question? Because do you know how to work? Are you one of Jehovah's Witnesses? No, no. No? Could you? Could we get your name and then call you back with the answer? Because right off the top of my head, to be honest, I might not know the answer. Oh, okay. I would have to do research. I would have to research the question. Really? It's about the kingdom. Well, let me see if it's easy enough I can answer it. What is the question? Um, well, I was looking up stuff about the kingdom because I'm interested yes. in Bible topics yeah. on the website. And um, this one article had a really funny thing in it. It said that um, Christendom's leaders give conflicting, confusing, and complicated explanations about what the kingdom is. Yes. <clears throat> and then in that paragraph, they give three examples of conflicting, confusing, and complicated explanations. And one of them, they say, is from Catholics. And um, it says, the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Now, that's a direct quote from Romans chapter 14. And I was just wondering why they say, say that's a conflicting, confusing, and complicated explanation. It's that's almost, what our organization said? Yeah, it's right here in this um, article called What is God's Kingdom? They think it's is just... Is that from the book? Hold on. I can get the... What book oh, no, it's a book? Watchtower 2011. Watchtower? Hold on Yeah. A Hold on a minute. Mm-hmm. Okay, you said Watchtower 2011. What month is that? 2011 um, would be October, yeah, November. March. March 1st. March would be 3-1, right? Yeah, yeah. It's The article is called What is God's Kingdom? Is that a study edition or is that? You know, I I can't tell on here. It's okay, on this on. online library thing. Okay, hold on. I should have checked, but the article is called What is God's Kingdom? Okay, let me just, it's not a study article. It's probably one to the public. Why do they have a different one for the public? Well, look, it's uh. We have a, that's just to um, certain articles that apply to us, for us personally. We have a study article where we don't print that information mm -hmm. for the public. It's it's what we do at our meeting. It's a question mm -hmm. and answer. And so mm -hmm. we don't give the public. We used to do that. But, mm -hmm. you know, it saves writing. It saves paper. So we have a study edition that we study at our hall. And that's the question and answer. And the other articles that you're reading, that's to the public. So that's why it's a difference with... Some people yeah. might find that a little unusual, kind yeah. of secretive or something, <laughs> insiders only, you know. <laughs> no, it's not. You could, if you come to the meetings, you would, you would see it. Mm. But, yeah, you would... You know, if you come to our meetings, it wouldn't be a problem. Hmm. We just get the magazines here. It's just booting up. Hold on a minute. It has, uh, is God's kingdom a condition of the heart? Um, what is God's kingdom? That's the one? Yeah, yeah. That's it? Yeah. What is God's kingdom? Okay. Let me open that up. What is God's kingdom? 
okay, it starts, what is God's kingdom? This good news of the kingdom, Matthew twenty four fourteen. Yes. Is that yeah, and the it's famous the, Sermon on the Mount, Jesus yeah, gave well, it's the next. Prayer. It's the next paragraph I was talking about. Yeah. Okay. This is not surprising. Christendom leaders offer conflicting, confusing, and complicated explanation as to what the kingdom is. One writes that the kingdom, God's kingdom, is something supernatural and in a link with the living God, an experience with God in which men and women find salvation. Another defined the gospel of the kingdom as instructions about the church and the catechism of the Catholic of the Catholic Church states. The kingdom of God is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Now, mm-hmm. that was the question that you had in mind, right? Yeah. Do you, you did said you, that's a di- yeah. Did you get the question, wh- why that was a question to me? Do, do you get what I was saying? Yeah, you were saying that that was a direct quote from Romans, Romans. 14. Mm-hmm. The kingdom of God is righteousness <laughs> and peace. And it seems like Boy, it's one of the Holy definitions Spirit. that they're mocking. No, I don't think it's a mock. Sure the it is. we was it, starting with that some just giving you the different definitions of what some people yeah. say. and it calls them body. conflicting, confusing, and complicated explanations. So in the list of examples of conflicting, confusing, and complicated explanations, it gives a Bible verse. It's almost like they don't know it's a Bible verse, and they say it's from the Catholic Church. I mean, it's not a really obscure verse either. I would think they would know the Bible better than this. Yeah, because the kingdom, you're saying, now, here's what some people say. This is what they're saying, the explanation of what the kingdom is. Mm-hmm. Some says it's a supernatural. Yeah, and, I, uh, I'm not. Link, but, no, I, I, I just want to go over this again. Yeah, I, I, I'm not even, you know, that interested in those. I'm interested in why they use a Bible verse as a, in the list of Christendom's conflicting, confusing, and complicated explanations. Let me, let me find. Let me uh-huh. turn to Romans. Yeah, Romans fourteen seventeen. Mm-hmm. Romans fourteen seventeen. Hold mm-hmm. on. A minute. Seventeen reads oh. in the Bible for the kingdom of God does mm-hmm. not mean eating and drinking, but means righteousness, and peace, and joy with Holy Spirit. That's what Paul mentioned. Mm-hmm. Right? So where's the where's the conflict? He says our article says the the Catholic. Church states that the kingdom of God is righteousness mm-hmm. and peace and joy in Holy Spirit. Which is from that verse. That, that's that right. verse. That's what it says. Right. And so it's including right. that in the list of but Christendom see, leaders' conflicting, confusing, and complicated explanations as to yeah. what the kingdom is. Because so, you know this, what, mm-hmm. Yes. Because it says, for the kingdom of God does not mean. Uh-huh. So that's what it's saying. You see, It says here, the kingdom of God is righteousness and peace and joy mm-hmm. of Holy Spirit. Uh-huh. So Paul says it doesn't mean that. No, it doesn't eating mean and eating and drinking, and drinking but, but yes. righteousness yeah. and joy and, he, and he's saying Holy He's saying, Spirit. but that is what it means, that he is defining right. the kingdom of God. And I just wondered, it didn't seem like they knew that was in the Bible clearly from that paragraph. So I was just kind of surprised by that. That they didn't know that scripture. No, yeah. they know that scripture's in the Bible. Because no, they didn't seem to in this article. They're calling it one of the conflicting, confusing, and complicated explanations of Christendom from the Catholic Church. Yeah, because with this definition right here, mm-hmm. you wouldn't you would need more than this verse to get an understanding of. What oh, God's true. I did. I did that. I I looked up the so word if kingdom. You were to just I did look so up the word kingdom be, and write out right. all the verses, which was really helpful. Um, right. You know, I didn't see any of that anywhere in the New Testament. Um, here's one. Here's another example of how it's used. This could not be a government. It says in Colossians 1, 13, For he has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved son, showing it was fully existing at that time in the first century. Um, yeah, you, have you been transferred into the kingdom of his beloved son? Now you want you wanted to know what we said. What are you? Uh, is this you trying to convert me, or you want to know the answer to why we say that? 
Is that what um, you're trying to do? Well, first of all, I'm still not clear why they quote that okay, as so, some coming from Catholics. But, so can but I explain since, this to you, since you had brought it up, I thought I'd share a verse about the kingdom. Um, oh. And ex- you explain to me how that means a government in Colossians one thirteen. You, can I you're explain the, to you why it, why we say it's a government? Um, if you r- address this first, because this verse would uh, not fit in with that. And I've got a lot of other ones that don't either. No. When you look up the word kingdom in the New Testament, you write them all out and try to substitute the word government and see if it's going to I don't fit. have a problem with that. You called mm-hmm. and asked, asked the question. Mm-hmm. See, I don't, have a, I, don't have, I don't question that. But I believe um, you had a question about that question. So I'm I'm just interested in yeah. asking your question concerning well, I, why we put that thing. Yeah. Let me finish. Let me finish because I'll let you speak. You called here, right? Mm-hmm. To get a to get an answer to why we put that statement in the scripture. Yeah. But you don't want to listen to it. You came with the conflicting. Well, so if you want me to finish and explain it to you I I, I kind of already time, know well, that the watchtower says it's a government but you, but you haven't why you call. because why you haven't you addressed call. why they included this as I'm trying a conflict. to do that. I'm trying to do that. So uh, why, no, if you don't you, want to know the answer. Why I'm not you explaining you, know, like you explaining no what the kingdom is is not an answer to why they quote this Bible verse well, and say it's from answer. Catholics. If you don't want to accept that. Mm-hmm. That's up to you. Well, I'm that's... just giving you. Can I finish? You ask for you ask for the reason, right? Yeah. No, no, right. Just yes or no. You ask for the reason. I said right? yeah. Right. I gave you our reason. That's up to you to accept that or not. Um, I not, must have missed the reason. Debate. I don't. Oh, let me finish. Let me finish. Well, you said you gave to... the reason, but you finish. didn't. I don't. What was okay, the reason? But you don't. I'm going to explain. It's right here. Let me just finish reading the article. That is the reason. Because God's kingdom is a government. It's, those are the qualities that those kingdom, the people that make up God's kingdom, would manifest. Righteousness, peace, joy, and Holy Spirit. Those are just the qualities that that kingdom would manifest. Not like today. Today's government don't manifest those qualities. They don't manifest righteousness. They don't manifest peace, joy, and God's Holy Spirit. So if you were to just tell a person, oh, God's kingdom is, no, that doesn't define what God's kingdom in itself is. It's a government with real laws, righteous laws. That's what God's government is. So what does Colossians one thirteen mean that says, for he has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved son? So are are you delivered from the domain of darkness and transferred into the kingdom of Christ? When Paul wrote that statement, he was telling the Christians back there that they were transferred from that Jewish system of things into a new system under Jesus Christ. Oh, no, that's That's not what what he means by the domain of darkness. It means like all of us are in it before before, we're delivered. I don't want to argue with you. That's that's what I believe. I don't... there's no reason for that. There's yeah, no see, Colossians one thirteen doesn't fit into the government Ma'am. thing, and neither does Second Thessalonians Fine. one five, Fine. which says you will be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which you are suffering. That's see, fine. at that time, that's what you want to believe. Is that what you want to believe? That's a Bible verse. But if the, is that what you want to believe? Of course, if I want to believe the Bible. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to take away from what you want to believe. That's not our position. I'm just wondering how those verses fit in. Well, with saying go it's to your, a government. If you're wondering how it fits in, mm-hmm. you're not going to listen to how we say it fits in. Well, go to your church. If they tell you that's how it fits in and you accept that, fine. Here's here's another one. Um, Jesus no, that's said, okay. That's okay. It, it's that's a verse okay. about the kingdom. That's okay. I don't have any questions. You had the questions. Well, it's you a, called with the questions. It's what Jesus said. It's that he said, fine. but fine. if I am I, casting out demons man, by the Holy Spirit. I don't Spirit, want to be disrespectful. But I don't want to go on with a conversation like this because too many Bible verses that you guys don't no, usually no. use. No, it's pointless. That's oh. what it means. I thought you That's guys like talking about the Bible. We don't go back and forth like this with the Bible because it's you pointless. You don't. Oh, you want? Are you looking for sheep like ones who just listen to everything the Watchtower says? Is that what you mean? You don't have conversations. This is this is going nowhere. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh. If I wanted to talk, no, don't. I would come to your house, we would talk, but like this, this is, we don't, we, when we go to people's doors, we don't have help. 
We don't have conversations like this. I know, I know. We don't debate people. They used to. Witnesses used to. It's really, um, I think it's just a symptom of the decline of the organization. A lot of people are talking about its demise and decline. Did you know that? Researchers. Check out jwfacts.com. God bless you. Thank you. you, Could you hear what I'm saying? Yes. Have a good day, okay? God bless. Thank you. Bye-bye.